Hi, I'm Heidi Borchers. I love jars. As you can see in my studio, I put everything in jars. I love to be able to, to see everything in them and then have the lids on them so they don't get dusty. But what about the times that you really don't want to see what's inside? How about maybe some cotton balls in your, in your bathroom or some things? This project is perfect. And the technique, it's a Mama Aline technique. The look is timeless. It's the look of embossing just with glue. Obviously, jars come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, and it's really cool if you can find one that has the square edges because then you can work on each side. But let's say you're going to have a round one, and you can do the same uh, technique. Let me show you the secrets. When you're using a round jar, be sure you put something on the table like craft sticks to keep it from rolling. I'm using the Aleem's Original Tacky Glue in the Gold Bottle. I like this one the best because when I'm using the glue and it dries, it just holds its shape better. It has a better embossed look. Be sure you put on a nozzle uh, out of tape and that gives you a really fine line. Always test it first and then just start to do your pattern. If you don't feel comfortable with doing a freehand, you can put a pattern on the inside and then just trace over it. Notice I don't put my tip exactly onto the jar. I lift it up maybe about a quarter of an inch. And here is one of the secrets of a round jar. When you do a, a, a flower or just this panel, we're going to take a hair dryer and just put a little bit of heat on it to dry it. I'm using the hair dryer to prevent the glue from dripping. It puts a skin on the glue and also when it turns kind of matte when you have the hair dryer on, that means that's all you need to do. It won't drip anymore. So that's what we have right here. So you just continue to put your design on and you have to do on a round bottle, you have to do just a little bit at a time, like a panel at a time. Let it dry completely until it's clear. Move to the next section. This one I've been working on and it's completely clear. That's what you want. Everything's clear. I put a cool to cast flower on the top. I even have some glue on the top edge. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take it outside and you're gonna spray it completely white with a flat paint. When the paint's completely dry, you can see where you have your embossed look. I use a stencil brush and I cut it off to be about a quarter of an inch because the stencil brush is really hard. And my chalks, you can find chalks in the scrapbooking department or you can find chalks in the art department. And I just take my brush and I go on top of the chalk. I'm scrubbing just the dust of the chalk and then I'm going to scrub it into the paint and the embossed. And just scrub it in. You can kind of hear it. And then when you have the excess dust, you're just going to blow it off. And to clean it, just have a paper towel ready and you can do your color on color. If I want a little bit of shadow or blending, put another color. And then again, blow off your dust. And you just continue to do it on all your flowers or any of your shapes and then the background goes in last. Now, the final coat would be putting a sealer on. I use a matte sealer, and be sure that it is compatible with chalk. Don't forget to put your cool to cast flower on the top. Just glue it on and spray it, and then chalk it the same way. I'm Heidi Borchers, and I think it's cool to craft.